And I know that this is a very difficult test. It is very, very, very hard. You ain't never left. You ain't never left. You ain't never left. Doing my dance. Hey, I'm doing my dance. Don't mind me. I'm doing my dance. What's up, you guys? It's Donna. Welcome back to my channel. So, for those of you who are new, thank you guys so much for joining me. Please take a look around. If you like what you see and you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. So I don't know if this is your first time or not, but if it is not your first time, you've likely seen my everything you need to know about the GRE in eight minutes video. And I've had some comments and questions about like, oh, well, what did you get on your GRE? Or, oh, she probably didn't even really do that good. Or, you know, like there's like these little back and forth stuff. And so I was like, well, I will reveal to you what I made on my GRE. So that's what this video is gonna be. I'm going to actually tell you guys what I got on my GRE and then again just kind of give you the things that I did um, to study for my GRE because I continue to get these questions um, and I know that this is a very difficult test it is very 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 hard you ain't never left you ain't never left you ain't never left so with respect to my GRE, um, I mean, I think I did really good. The GRE scored out of 340 and I got a 322. So, I mean, I thought that that was a really decent um, GRE score. And I knew that I needed to actually do really well on my GRE because I wasn't like the strongest with respect to GPA. Like I made a lot of stupid mistakes my freshman year. Well, not really my freshman year. It was more so like my sophomore slash junior year. Like there was like a little dip in certain things. Like I wasn't really having like the best time in undergrad, like a lot of loss and things were happening in my life. And so my grades were affected by that. But I knew that once I was trying to get into PA school, I needed to have something that would combat that, that would be able to say, hey, I absolutely can do this. So I studied hard and I studied for a month and I was fortunate enough to not be working that summer. Um, so I wasn't working, I wasn't taking any classes or anything like that. Um, so I had a month where I literally studied for the GRE like it was my job. I studied eight hours a day from eight to five. Um, I did block studying. So I had, um, you know, I'd previously taken the MCAT because I was going to be a physician. That's what I wanted to be, an OBGYN. And then, you know, I decided against that. You guys heard my story on why I decided against that. And so I had this schedule for exam crackers. And I think it came through, um, I had another schedule as well, but I melded the two schedules. And I from that schedule, that's what I followed. I followed that to say, hey, you know, from eight to 10, I'm going to do quantitative questions from um, 10 to 10.30, I'll take a break. From 10.30 to 12, I'll do verbal reasoning. And then I'll take my lunch break. And then from one to two, um, again, I'll do quant. From two to 2.15, I'll take a break. From 2.15 to 3.15, I will do um, verbal reasoning again. And then I took the least amount of time for analytical writing. Um, I kind of like left that towards the end every day where I would just do like practice writing. Um, I had the book, uh, I used Kaplan's book. So I used the Kaplan GRE prep book. I got it from the library. I like, I just did not have the money to spend on all of these other like resources that we're charging like hundreds of dollars for this. So I was like, I know that my GRE test is going to be a couple hundred dollars in and of itself. Like, how am I going to now stem this? So I would, went I went to the library, I got like GRE for dummies. I got all of the GRE prep books that I could possibly find. I used the Princeton Review. I used exam crackers because I felt like some of the things that I would see on the MCAT with respect to the math section, like, you know, like the physics and math section, would be relatable to the GRE. Um, and I had those books myself because I was studying for the MCAT prior. Um, and I just used all of those review books and I combined them with my study schedule. So from doing that, um, I would also have flashcards. Now, like this was before Quizlets was like a big thing, but I'd have like actual handwritten flashcards with the GRE words. And I would just go through and do these GRE words. Now, some of you are like, I've never heard these words in my life. Like, is this like just for the test or is this for real life? Is this for PA school or grad school? No, it's not for PA school or grad school. Just like, you know, some of the words 
words that you see on your SAT you're not necessarily using in life, but it's just another kind of thing to see, like test you and see how you're learning and how you're um, obtaining information and retaining that information. So no, I'm not using loquacious in PA school. However, it was a word that I needed to know. So you definitely just kind of have to go through and use these flashcards, but that is what I did. I continuously did flashcards and I would do that throughout the day. Like even though I was supposed to be on break during, you know, my lunch break, just kind of like having time to like go watch a show or something, just kind of have mindless thought. Um, I would still have those flashcards and be going over them on my actual like commercial break. So I did that and I did that for four whole weeks. Um, I only did that. Um, I, I did that like that eight to five on Monday through Friday. I, you know, had my Sabbath and I rested on Friday night to Saturday night. Um, Saturday night, I did stuff like with my family, not like my, not my family, family, <laughs> not just my personal family, but, you know, extended family, whatever events was happening, I would engage in that and then um from that on sunday again i would study a little bit longer maybe like 12 hours because it was sunday and you're not typically doing stuff on sunday so i would do that and then again just continue on with my whole regimen and i mean i it paid off for me i did pretty well on my gre and i got into PA school and you know I think that that was one of the really like important determining factors for helping me get into PA school because like I said like my GPA was maybe like a 3.5 and a 3.3 um, QM and science base and that was after me retaking classes because again I did not do um, my best when I was actually an undergrad so I had to somehow combat that and I was able to overcome that and do well so for those of you who had questions on on that this is my score this is um, the plan that I did I had a schedule make yourself a schedule stick to that schedule not everybody is fortunate enough to not have to work for a month and just study for the GRA and so if you have to break that down into two months because you're studying and you're um, and you're working full-time and you only have four hours a day to dedicate to GRE prep then do that um, whatever it is that you have available that time that you have available to you you do that and you do it to the best of your ability um so if you're working full time just like in pa school maybe you come home at five or six and then from seven to ten or seven to eleven you're studying and that is fine um just as long as you're finding ways to retain that material and now like kaplan and like magoosh and these other places have all of these gre preps online they have these you know sites that you can go to online and just kind of go through run through questions and take prep tests and so is ets which is the gre um, site itself so i suggest you go through and use all of the resources available to you and study hard you know pray if you're spiritual and then take that test if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and follow me on instagram at adana the pa thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time bye